Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Ladies, 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 it's your girl, Lori. Hey, girl, hey, how y'all doing today? Y'all, it's time for me to take makeup off and twist my hair up. So I decided to come in and do a talk and twist with you guys. You guys already know I get my talk and twist from Tony Daly. That's the first person I ever saw do them. So, you know, I always got to shout her out. What's up, girl? Hey, girl, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Now, listen, I'm going to twist my hair up and we're going to talk. So if you want to know what I want to talk about, then you keep watching. All right, y'all, let's get into this. We're going to start in the back, y'all. I guess what I could talk about first is my hair, y'all. Let me tell you, my hair has been in a protective style for months. And then I had to watch a video by Niecy J and she was doing her wash and go. I said, you know what? I'm about to let Miss Fro out. So Miss Fro has been out for two days now. And this is what my hair is looking like. Y'all see that gray? <sighs> Disrespectful gray. But this is my hair. And I just kind of did the style I'm wearing is, uh, let me take this out. I'm just doing a twist out, but I just kind of took and did the little twist around the edges. And I don't have to retwist those. I just leave them as, as they are. Because, see, they don't come loose. So, that's my hairstyle. And as far as products go, y'all, I guess let me talk about products right quick. As far as products, I've been using my Thank God is Natural. Y'all, I've been using uh, almost everything Thank God is Natural. So, I've been rocking those products. Now, I do have, like, when I retwist my hair, I don't add no I don't like to add more. Well, my lip gloss is popping. I don't like to add a whole lot of products to it because I feel like it weighs it down. But I do got me a little mystery mix. Y'all remember the mystery mix now, ladies? So this is just like some um, tea tree oil, some con leave-in conditioner, and one of and uh, the leave-in conditioner spray. So I'll just kind of spray that on my hair. In the sections lightly because what happens is when you spray your hair and you have products in your hair it just reactivates the product so you don't have to keep putting all kinds of products on your hair and then I just twist and I don't do a whole bunch of small twists either and I don't take my comb and comb through my hair when I do my um twist out because it combs out all the curls so I just kind of use my finger, do a little detangling a little bit. And not even really detangling, but it's just kind of smooth it out. And then twist my hair. But how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is safe. Hope everybody is well. I know it is so much going on out here. And I just want you guys to know that um, God got us. Most definitely God got us. And that it's going to be okay. We're going to make it through. We just got to be, you know, we, we just got to be smart. And do what needs to be done, you know. And the sooner we do that, the quicker this whole situation will be over with. Oh, I guess I'm going to show you see how much hair I get shed. I never really do that. Do y'all think that's weird? I don't know. Because my hair going to shed regardless. So, uh, as far as me and isolating, you know, here in North Carolina, they haven't did like a mandatory type stay-at-home thing, but... Um, I've basically been at home. I do still have to work. My husband and I both still have to work. Um, so all I really do is go to work, go to the grocery store, and come home. And let me tell y'all, we're going to segue into my no-buy. Because my no-buy, y'all, really prepared me. I know it's probably going to sound real crazy, but my no-buy prepared me for being at home and not out shopping because I started my no-buy in the beginning of March. So, therefore, I wasn't at Walmart. I wasn't doing my weekly trip to TJ Maxx. I wasn't um, just out there shopping, going to Ulta and going to Sephora because I was on a no-buy. So, I'm like, ain't no need to go nowhere. I can't buy nothing. So, I was staying at home. And so, that's what, that's what I mean when I say it kind of prepared me because it slowed down my activity outside of the house is what I mean. And as far as my no go, my no buy goes, so far so good. So far so good. It ain't bad. 
I thought it was going to be a lot of harder. It, I ain't going to say it's not that bad because I have my days. I'm going to say that I have my days. Some days I'll be like, ooh, Jesus. And then some days I don't even really think about it. And I think, too, because of what's all been going on, that has kind of helped me not think so much about a nobody because there's been more pressing issues to deal with. So that has kind of helped me also. And see, like, y'all, I'll take this and make two twists out of it and take my little mystery mix. We're just going to spray her. And even though it's white, but when it dries, you know, when it dries down, it'll be clear. So that's what's going on with my no buy. It ends in April, and then I'm going on a low buy, which I'm going to be very particular, I think, about my purchases, you know, because that's the whole purpose of doing a no buy, not for me to do a no buy. And then once the no buy is over with, then I'm just out here spending money like crazy. No, just I did the nobody get a handle on my spending. And um, so I, instead of me coming out of my nobody into just a full fledged buy whatever you want, I'm going from the nobody to a low buy. You know what I'm saying? You know how when you do a fast, they say once you finish your fast, you shouldn't just go out and eat a steak meal. You need to ease your way back into eating. I'm going to ease my way back into shopping. But you know, I got some stuff. That I've been looking at though, y'all. Y'all know that, right? Like, I definitely want to try out. Have anybody tried out the new MAC eyeshadows? Because I've never been that big of a fan of the MAC eyeshadows. Because the formula. But Kinky Sweat said that they were amazing. So, I'm going to go try those out. And then I also want to try... um. We got so many pushes, y'all. I call them my makeup pushes. And um, Vicky J is another one. And um, I want to get the... She had on, y'all, it looks so good on her, too. She had on that Marc Jacobs. What is it called? Remarkable? I think it's called Remarkable. I think that's what it's called. That foundation. And she said it was very concentrated. And I want to try that out. Now, I might not buy all of these things that I'm talking about in April. These are just things that are on my radar. And then my other pusher, she's my blush pusher, Amber. So I want to try the um, NARS or X Orgasm or Orgasm X, Orgasm X. Her and, her and Nikki, um, Vicky J was saying it was really nice and it looks so good on them and y'all know your girl like blush i'm a blush girl so i just feel like i need to have me a blush in order for my makeup look to be complete what else have i been looking at oh y'all you know um the cover fx blush stools are gonna be on sale I want to say April 3rd. I might be completely wrong. I don't know. But um, I want to check though. I want to get the, I think it's the Warm Honey one. And then they got one. It's Mauve something. It's the Dusty Rose one. I want that one as well. Now those two, I will be picking up right away, you know. Because they're on sale for $19 instead of $38. So you can't pass that up. And that's another thing too. Um, I don't feel I feel more comfortable. I've always not mind waiting on sales, but I really don't mind now waiting on the sale. Like I'm really not in no hurry to give nobody my coins. You know what I mean? Y'all know. Now you see how quick this is? I'm almost halfway done. I don't put a whole bunch of twists. And y'all see how thin my hair is, like super thin Ooh. oh and another thing i want to pick up is i don't know if you guys know dj she has a it's just peachy she has a boutique y'all she has a online boutique i actually picked up some earrings from her once and she has some of the coolest um um sunglasses 
And y'all know purple is your girl's favorite color. So I do want to pick those up. So that, I think that's all that I'm thinking. Oh, no, I know what else I want to. Listen to me, y'all. But everything I'm talking about is not something I plan on buying, like, right away. But that Tasha primer, the new one, and I've been watching videos on it. And a lot of people have been saying it's pretty much the same thing. But I think, oh, y'all just broke my clip. Oh, it was my main choice clip. Y'all see that? Anyway. But I think I, I still want to get that primer because um, even though people are saying it's not much of a difference, but I like the pump. And they said it's, I think, this is, this is my philosophy. Hear me out. Hear me out. My philosophy is this. I feel like the, the one that, the original one will be really good for the winter time because it's a little thicker. My, I don't know if it's going to be more hydrating than the one that's in the pump, but the one in the pump to me look like it's a lot lighter. And I think it would be great to go up under your makeup for in the summertime. Plus it has a pump, so it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. You feel me? Y'all feel me, right? Okay, y'all yeah, get what I'm saying. So, and I have not purchased any primers in over a year and a half because I did tell myself, if I'm going to buy this Tasha primer for $54, you ain't buying nobody else's primer. And I haven't. I have not purchased any other primer. So I feel like it's a well worth the investment because I use it and I get a lot of use out of it. And it has lasted a long time. Very long time. So I think those are all the things that i am looking at let me know in the comment section what are some things you're looking at now as far as eyeshadow palettes nothing has been tickling my fancy nothing nothing has come out that i was like oh my god i hate that i'm on a nobody and i can't get it nothing so i can't even think let's just let you know i can't even, i cannot even think of an eyeshadow palette that i'm like Oh, I just got to have. I've seen some that I'm like, oh, that's cute. But y'all already know my new philosophy would come to makeup. If it don't shake it my soul, I don't want it. You know, so I haven't had anything to make me be like, oh, I want that. So no eyeshadow palettes that I'm looking at. Um, except for the eyeshadows from MAC, I just want to try. Because there's a green color. The eyeshadows from MAC, y'all, they got this green color. Oh my goodness. Kinky sweat, child. Kinky sweat. Blame it. We're gonna blame it. We're gonna blame it on Kinky. I'm blaming this whole video on my Miss Fro being out. It's Niecy J fault. And all the makeup and stuff is gonna be Kinky Sweat and Vicky J and Amber. And who else? Who else out here in these streets being a pusher? I can't think of nobody else right now, but yeah, y'all here pushing in these streets. Yeah. And see right here, I'll make three, three twists out of here. And then three, three more twists, six or six twists, y'all. I'm gonna be done. We've been on here almost 15 minutes. So it does not take that long to retwist. Some people can lay down and not retwist. I'm not that person. If my hair is out, I need to retwist. Even if it's just some really big twist, I just feel like, because for one, I don't know about you, but if I don't retwist, it's like my hair curls on top of it and it just gets so, so tangled. And I feel like I lose a lot more hair because I got more breakage because of the tangling. But do you see how the, I just wiped it all away. But do you see how the product is reactivating just by adding, even if you just do like a little water, you know what I'm saying? It's going to reactivate the products that you already have.
I'm thinking about dyeing my hair for the summer. I don't know. If I do, I'm definitely going to my girl Amber because y'all know what happened last time I dyed my hair. So I'll be definitely going to her to get my hair done. So I'm debating. If I do, I don't want all of it dyed. I just want the ends dyed. That makes sense. So when I put it in a puff, you know, just my top part, I like that ombre look. I just don't know what color. Amber, what color should we should we do? Well, I'm a, well, okay. Let me put it this way. No, no, the bo the bottom part is gonna have to get dyed black, and then my tips are gonna be dyed a color. That's what I want. Cause this gray, y'all, I'm tired of this gray. It's one thing when you're here in a protective style and you don't see it. You know what I mean? But when you put Miss, have Miss Fro out and all of this gray is just like popping, no. Even though I'm about to be 50, I don't want my hair to look like I'm about to be 50. All right, y'all. We almost there. And I want to say thank you to all my content creators who are out here putting these videos out, giving people something to watch. This is so helpful. I think it's really good to help distract people, you know, take their mind off of all the stuff that's going on. I think it's very helpful. And also, y'all, we need to make sure we be in prayer also for, I know I don't know if a lot of people have thought about this, but I know Domestic violence, they're saying domestic violence um, centers are overflowing and have to, having to send women away. So we definitely need to pray for women that are really going through not just hardship because of the coronavirus, but domestic violence. Like, we just need to pray. We just need to pray for them. And I want to send a shout out to my teachers, all my teachers out there. I know when school starts back, these parents are going to get their whole lives together and appreciate y'all so much more because um, I didn't volunteer for homeschool. Although I, might, I must say my nephew is really a self-starter. I don't really have to do much, but girl, they're not going back to school here in North Carolina until May the 15th. So they just came out today and said May, 15, May the 15th is when these kids are going back to school. Well, supposed to go back to school, but we're not sure. But y'all, we on the last one. And we're going to close this video out. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everyone for supporting your girl's channel. Everybody just um, relax, take a deep breath. Try to just inhale as much positivity as possible. Limit CNN and whatever news, you know, people you watch. Limit all of that stuff. I mean, like maybe once a day, go check out, see what's going on. We don't want to be ignorant in these streets, but just limit the amount of news and also make sure you verify the sources online from stuff that you hear we cannot believe everything we hear online make sure it comes from a valid source but y'all i appreciate you so to all my new subscribers i see you and i appreciate you and if you have not subscribed yet y'all already know what to do right Hit that button and oh oh and also follow your girl on Instagram. My Instagram account is it's Lori's Life. Same as my YouTube. So follow your girl on Instagram. So if you haven't subscribed, I need you to hit that button. So I can save you a seat at the grown women's table. Bye-bye, ladies.